John, you know what I think of you, don't you? I, I certainly do, Mr. President, and vice versa. I've got to ask you now to act like a, the good American I believe you to be. Mm -hmm. I'm going to seriously consider appointing a small group of seven or nine tonight to uh, look into the cause of these disorders. I want nothing but competence, and I want nothing but compassion, and I want nothing but uh, patriotism. Uh, the commission will investigate the origins of the disorders in our cities. It will make recommendations to me, to the Congress, to the state governors, to the mayors, for measures to prevent or contain such disasters in the future. In their work, the commission will have access to all the facts gathered by the federal government, including the FBI. They will continue to exercise full authority in the Justice Department to investigate riots, search for evidences of conspiracy, and to present them if available. To date, all the reports indicate no such evidence has ever been uncovered. But even before the Commission begins its work, even before all the evidence is in, there are some things we can tell about the outbreaks this summer. First, make no mistake about it, the looting, the arson, the plunder, the pillage which have occurred are not a civil rights protest. There is no right to loot stores and to burn buildings fire rifles. But innocent people, Negro and white, have been killed. Damage to property, property owned by Negroes and whites, is disastrous. Worst of all is the fear and bitterness which have been loosed, which will take long months to arrange and so forth. It would compound the tragedy if we should settle for order imposed by the muzzle of a gun. In America, we seek more than the uneasy calm of a martial law. We seek peace based on one man's respect for another. Most Americans, Negro and White, seek safety in their neighborhood and harmony with their neighbors. Nothing can destroy goodwill more quickly than a period of needless strife and suspicion between the races. Let us condemn the violent few, but let us remember that it's law-abiding Negro families who have suffered most at the hands of riders. It's responsible Negro citizens who hope most fervently and need most urgently to share in America's prosperity. This is no time to turn from that goal. To reach that goal will require more than laws and more than dollars. It will take the dedication of the heart of every citizen and so on. And so forth, and I ask them to pray and, and ask them not to tear down. A few things like that. And I don't want you to even consider uh, thinking about it. I just want you to say yes, sir. Yes, sir. I oh, will. God. I know it. Now, don't say a word about it until I make up my mind I'm going to do it. I've got to talk to the Attorney General, but uh, uh, what I want to come out of this, what's good for America, and I think you represent everything that is good, and I, I'm awfully grateful that you'll go as quick on this as you would to Vietnam if I had to have you. Well, uh, uh, Mr. President, uh, uh, this uh, the country is in trouble at the moment, and uh, when you ask for help, you're entitled to get it. Uh, I've always heard it from you. Thank you. Bye, Mr. Uh.